Welcome back, collectors. Thank you so much for tuning in to this installment of Diecast Emporium. If you've been watching the collection update videos, you have seen the previous dozer video where we focused on kind of the medium range uh, dozers. This video is going to focus on the larger dozers, so the Cat D9 to the Cat D11. So we have 11 samples here to show you. These do not include the promotional special colors. Uh, such as the bronze or the silvers or the golds that have been done over the years. These are strictly just uh, the regular versions that have been available from Conrad all the way to today's Diecast Masters pieces. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. First one that I will show you is the Diecast Masters Cat D9T. Still in their lineup as part of the Highline series. This was released a handful of years ago to uh, very positive praise. And one of the main reasons for that was it's it had been so long since we had seen a D9 in 150 scale. And it's really a fantastic model. Good functionality, good detail. The handrails and stuff here are metal. This version, because it was, you know, a few years old now, unfortunately the uh, operator figure was not removable from the cab. But again, with some simple modification, uh, if you wanted to, you can take the model apart and uh, remove him. So there's, as I like to say, if there's a will, there's a way. But in all other aspects, this model performed very, very well, and I rated it very highly when I reviewed it. And if you wanted a D9 and 1 to 50 scale, uh, I think you had to, I think really Gesha's D9G, if memory serves me correct, was the only option that was available to you, unless you wanted to have one custom made, of course. So there it is. Next, we have the Norscott D10N. This is a... This one is the Norscott version. You can see that right there. Uh, but this was an Ertl casting, and in 1998, when Norscott took over the license for Cat, this was simply kind of one of the toolings that came with the agreement. And very simple. We are talking about, um, you know... 20 some odd years ago now and it definitely shows its age there you can see the drill hole in the back there but it was for its time robustly made and the rubber tracks did move pretty well and there's the the front of it for the blade so that is the d10n Norscott, a few years after that, released the D10T, and this is it right here. And Diecast Masters released their version in the Core Classic series uh, with the 2007 updated paint scheme, and they also made it with uh, the flat black up on top. So... There you go. Very solid looking casting. Again, I love this particular dozer. So the Norscott version, since it was released in 2006, had the pyramid logo and trade dress. Um, it did remain in their arsenal for a few years after that. And when Di again, when Diecast Masters took it over, they put Bob in. They improved a little bit of the functionality. And again, they did the anti-glare uh, style. I think in 2017, Diecast Masters released this, which is an all-new tooling for them. This is the D10T2. Another very highly detailed model. You can see you have fire suppression systems all on this. Tons of hydraulic lines leading to the ripper here. Once again, you have metal handrails. And this version, since it came out later in the Highline series, you did have the option to remove the operator if you wanted to. And also, it featured opening compartments. So that is the D10T2.
Okay, going way back here. This is a Conrad D11N with an impact ripper. Uh, this was a purchase that I got on eBay a number of years ago. So this model is not in pristine showroom condition. Obviously, it has been uh, displayed and a little bit loved. There are a few paint chips on here that are very noticeable. And uh, the tracks do have, again, some wearing that's showing on this. Uh, to my knowledge, this is one of the few cat models that's available in 1 to 50 scale, or was available in 1 to 50 scale, that showcased their Impact Ripper, which was supposed to be the latest and greatest thing at the time. It's supposed to revolutionize Ripper systems, but um, I guess a lot of these broke tractor frames and stuff, so it didn't really turn out that great. It was a short-term gain, long-term loss. But still in all, it's nice to have a representation of a little bit of Cat's history. And it is extremely heavy. There is a ton of die cast on this model. Very little plastic. All right, 1999. North Scott brought us the D11R. Back then, rubber tracks were the standard, as were plastic for pretty much all your detail parts, including your cylinders here. There's your underside. So if you wanted an example of Cat's largest dozer at the time, the R model of the D11, this is what was available. Now back in the day, I always thought, man, this would be a great model if it just had metal tracks. And again, we're talking about 1999 here, so I, I was probably 8, 9 years old. Um, so it took the better part of two decades. But Diecast Masters re-released it in their Core Classic series and pretty much answered my wish. Here it is. So, same casting, uh, obviously much needed changes and upgrades, the most notable of which are the metal tracks. And they do roll extremely well on any service with uh, friction. Here's another detail, too. I'll see if I can get both of these. I doubt I'll be able to get both of these in the same shot, but we're going to try. So, grills and stuff were painted in. You didn't really see that there. Obviously, the metal tracks, the cylinders were changed, the lights were painted and changed. So, you have lights here, no lights here. So, they really just brought it up to modern standards. Obviously, all of the connection rivets are painted. You can see that even better down here. So basically, if you're looking for a D11R, search this one out. Okay. In 2001, this was one of the first tractors in 1 to 50 scale by Norscott to feature metal tracks, and here it is. I remember this being... Very expensive at the time. This is the D11R CD, and the CD stands for Carry Dozer. So it has a much larger bucket at the front. And this also features that uh, anti-glare style paint finish. Flat, flat black paint finish. I'm sure that there were people that probably took the tracks off this and put it on the other D11. There's the underside. So that is the D11R carry dozer. Okay. 
11 years later, Norse got released a brand new D11. This is the T version, and this did have metal tracks, and they roll fantastic, even on a super smooth surface, such as my little work table here. And again, we're talking 2012, so there's your updated trade dress for the time, the Power Edge, Power Stripe. But as good as this was, there were still room for improvement. So in 2018, for the last two models, we have these. The D11T Twins by Diecast Masters. Now these two models, I can't say this enough, I believe are CCM quality pieces. And I said that in the review of these two, the detail on these, the finish on these, is just outstanding. You have a working access ladder on both of these that folds down. Um, all of the handrails and stuff, especially on this side, are metal and they're actually thin into scale. Another great detail that you have, once again, is your fire suppression system over here. Tons of hydraulic line details and you can actually follow where each of those hoses go. So they're not just going to absolutely nowhere. This You can remove the top of this and put the operator figure in if you want. And once again, you have opening hatches. So these compartments and things. It's better to do this with a pointer and not a pen. But these compartments do open. And there's a lot of detail inside there. But even more impressive than all of that that I shared with you, this, your visibility perforations. Completely etched through. It's not just a solid piece that we see so often and that we've seen for years and that, quite honestly, I thought was going to be the standard. But they managed to do that and check out that detail. I absolutely love these. They're not inexpensive. But again, in my opinion, I believe they're worth every penny. So this version is the standard D11T in what's known as a JEL design. And the other version of the twins, as you may have guessed, is the D11T CD or carry dozer. And as impressive as the other one, again, still you have your detailed blade here with your perforations through here. Absolutely love these models. Can't say it enough. They're worth every penny. And I, I just, I'm a stickler for working features on these. Even the hinges that they made for the opening compartments, they're not totally discreet but they do the job so that it doesn't stand out and look absolutely horrible. I think it I think it looks completely fine. The underside you can see the detail on each of the track pads. So there you have it collectors. That is my entire collection of cat large dozers in 1 to 50 scale. Once again, these do not include the special finishes like the commemorative versions. Uh, obviously, nor does it include the CCM models because those are in 1 to 48 scale and not 1 to 50 scale. So if you're interested in seeing those, just search out on my channel, CCM Collection. Those should pop right up. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself and each other, and we will see you in the next video.